innovation is a challenge to do completely new things or to do something that has been done before in a completely new way. And it really starts on kind of four key pillars. One is the core understanding and affinity of the subject matter you want to innovate on. Um, the second is you have to have an opinion on the state of the world. You've got to, to look at the world and say, wow, you know, this is good, this is bad, this is ugly. Um, the third is you have to be able to turn that opinion into a vision for a better world. And the fourth is you have to be able to engage with people that ultimately help you build out that innovative vision. And so, you know, if you fall over on any one of those things, then innovation doesn't happen. So I look out for people who, one, have an affinity with the stuff that we do, who have really strong opinions, who are able to build those opinions into visions for, for greatness, and then have the ability to rally a group of people around them to deliver against that vision. And the output of that is usually pretty cool innovation. Uh, you know, our, our eyes have to be on the future. We work in uh, an industry that is fundamentally innovative, that is trying to change the way people experience interactive entertainment. So as I look to the future, I, I, you know, you look at what's happening right now, you think about how people are consuming media, you think about how digital music permeates almost every aspect of your life because of, you know, ubiquitous nature of devices combined with cloud compute and streaming technology. So I see a world whereby, you know, the notion of passive media, music, movies, books, TV, these things that have traditionally entertained us are overcome by interactive media. Things that engage you, things that inspire you, things that immerse you. Um, I think about a world where from the moment you get up in the morning to the moment you go to bed at night, you are engaged in interactive entertainment, whether it's from your phone, whether it's from a games console, a computer, or an internet enabled fridge, Interactive media will, will permeate every aspect of your life. And for that, that makes for a really fun world. I'm a great consumer of all things. I don't sleep very much, I get up early, I go to bed late, and I fill my days with as much stuff as I can, whether that's sport, movies, music, television, games, buying, selling, trading. You know, when you live in a world that is fundamentally driven by player behavior, you have to understand the player. And so I try and live every day of my life as a player, as a consumer, as a buyer, as a reader, as a watcher. And that, I don't think there's any, any replacement for that.